Well, guys, I said this was going to be a Halloween special, and I was planning on something real spooky, but uh, I think uh, that one of the spookiest things of 2020 is going to happen to me today, which is I'm about to go get COVID tested. So I'm going to do the rapid test. Um, there's a testing site here in, uh, locally, so uh, should only take about 15 minutes is what they say, but uh, we're going to find out. As you can probably tell, I have almost zero symptoms, but I did wake up this morning with a slight fever, so um, just wanted to be sure. That way I can let anyone know that I've been in contact with um, that they should also get tested, which is probably the scariest part about all this. Physically, I'm not worried about myself making it through coronavirus, but uh, but thinking about who I've seen the past two weeks is uh, it's pretty alarming, I guess you could say. So anyway, I'm pulling up, so I will let you guys know. It's 112. All right, what's your name? Travis Grenier. All right, what's your name? I did. Perfect. I'll get you checked in, someone will come and screen you. Thank you. And what kind of work do you do? I'm a videographer. Have you come in contact with anyone with COVID that you know of? No, not that I, not that I know of. Are you having, having any symptoms? I had a fever uh, this morning when I woke up, so that's why I'm here. <laughs> that's it though. And Just a fever? Yeah. Just wanted to be sure. Uh, it would be last night, I suppose, middle of the night. What was that fever? I, I'm not sure actually, I just know I had one. <laughs> did, you, did you feel real hot? Yeah, no, I felt real cold. Take deep breaths. Thank you. Forehead, please. Thank you. Do I currently have a fever? I Parking number four. Thank you. Well, this is definitely not the plan. Um, you know, for the most part, I've been pretty serious about the quarantine and, you know, I took things pretty seriously. Been wearing a mask everywhere we go, always been sanitizing, washing our hands everywhere after we touch anything outside in public. You generally don't go in public. Um, admittedly though, lately we have been pretty relaxed as far as seeing family and friends. And you know, that's those are the only people I've seen uh, in a while. And uh, you know, I feel terrible even being here I don't even have the results yet but I feel terrible um just knowing that maybe I am the cause of uh of someone else getting this thing um and then them giving it to someone else and then you know who knows how far it'll go it's just crazy um I'm just waiting for the results now and a long 15 minutes. Looks like there's about seven people uh, in front of me. This place has been churning these out though. Um, the doctors come out uh, probably about seven or eight times in the past 10 minutes just giving results to everybody and uh, I mean, it seems to be going pretty quick. No telling how long I'll be here but Seem to be cranking them out. They are giving the people beside me their results now, which means I'm next. It's been about 40, 40 minutes so far, so a little longer than a little longer than fifteen. But these people are booking it, and. You know, I don't know if they're getting paid or if they're volunteers, but they are doing a fantastic job. These people are leaving. Uh, I'm nervous. Oh, God. 
Come on, big bucks, no whammies. Big bucks, no whammies. How's it going? What's the name? Travis. Travis, you're positive. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> Were you having symptoms? Yeah, fever. When did that start? Last night. Okay, so you gotta stay home, self isolate for 10 days starting yesterday or last night. Okay. Otherwise, it's just treating your symptoms. So make sure you stay hydrated, Tylenol, ibuprofen for fevers, body aches, sore throats, that type of thing. Okay. All right. Anybody that lives with you or that's been in close contact for extended periods of time without a mask mm -hmm. with you also needs to self isolate for 10 days. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. All right, you take care. Yeah. Oh, crap. I'm positive. It's going to get a second test. Um, my wife has tested negative. My friends that I've been around also tested negative. Uh, I still feel fine. So, I'm going to get a second opinion. This time we're gonna do the, uh, crap, I can't remember what it's called, I'll tell you afterwards, but uh, the, the more accurate test, the one that takes a few days to process in a lab and all that. So, uh, yeah. Day one of quarantine, we're already second guessing the, uh, the results here, so. Uh, well, that second test came back positive. As you can probably guess, this was not the Halloween special that I had in mind when I mentioned that last week. My wife even got me this sick new shirt just for this episode. I was actually planning on going over some scary statistics on money, like the fact that only a third of adults have even saved a dime for retirement, or that of the ones that have saved, a third of those adults have had to access their retirement accounts early due to COVID. If you watched last week's episode, you'll understand why that's such a big deal. Now, while these are scary facts, they kind of speak for themselves. And it doesn't really feel appropriate anymore to give an entire video on those stats, or maybe I'm just not in the mood to do it anymore. Regardless, these are some pretty scary statistics. So to avoid becoming one, check out some of my other videos. Meanwhile, don't worry about me. Wear your damn masks, or don't, but just know that contact tracing is not a fun phone call. I love you all, thank you so much for watching to the end, and COVID or no COVID, I will see you here next week where I may or may not be shaving my beard.